Hello, my name is Oscar Grimes. Welcome to my cabin. It may be hard to believe, but I taught eight students in this tiny space over a hundred years ago. I was a young man from Arkansas with some higher education and a yearning for adventure. In May 1904, I stepped off the boat at the mouth of Resurrection Creek and walked up the corduroy road from the Tidal Flats to Hope City. The huge Alaska Commercial Company store dominated Main Street like a great white whale. It stood across from the company's warehouses, assay office, and the station manager's house. The ACC, as we called the company, had invested a barrel of money and a lot of white paint in the future of Hope City. In 1904, they were still hoping that the gold field would fulfill the promise of the 1896 Turnigan Armed Gold Rush. Rather than sign on with one of the Hope Gold Mines, I took steady paying work with the ACC. I'd rather lean over a ledger book than a shovel. Emil Pedelin, the ACC station manager, was an Alaskan of Russian native blood. He was as familiar with the ways and needs of a trading post as I was quick with pencil and paper. I found a pleasant little cabin on 2nd Street to live in. Ed Crawford had built it just two years earlier. He was a superb carpenter. He did wonderful log joinery and loved big double hung windows. Ed had married a widow woman who had decorated the cabin in proper Victorian style. That Rachel Crawford had great moss green wainscoting, flowered wallpaper, curtains, the works. Now myself, I'm neat, but my tastes are simple. I'm content with a bare rug on my bunk, a coffee pot on the wood stove, a hook to hang my suit jacket on, and a few good books. A typewriter is my favorite luxury item. The summer of 1904 was busy at the ACC with buying gold, selling supplies, post office duties, and representing the ACC shipping line. I liked Hope City and wished to stay on through the winter, but it seemed unlikely that the store would need me after the last fall boat. Emil Pendolin asked if I'd teach Hope's children that winter, 1904-1905. I said yes. He used his ACC position and his influence in the community to make sure that I had food, firewood, and a bit of money for my efforts. Books, slate, and paper were found. A few barrels and boxes were brought into my cabin to seat my eight students. That first year, I lined up my eight students outside the cabin for a photograph. Take a look at it. Emil's daughters, Zola and Nora, are next to me. They were cute little girls in bonnets and capes. Brothers George Leo and Ralph Buzzard are next to the girls. Their father and uncle were prominent miners. Next to me in the back row is Bob Matheson, age 12. Young Bob was an attended student, even though he hadn't been in school since the family moved to Hope in 1899. Later, someone told me that he was very fond of his Hope school and teacher. Next to Bob is Johnny. I forget his last name, but I think he was one of Chief Afanasi's group on Bear Creek. 14-year-old Louis Shell, to the far right, was native also. I taught them the fundamentals, reading, writing, and arithmetic. For three years, I taught school in the winter and worked at the ACC in the summer. However, the Hope Goldfield could only support a few people, so many moved away. The ACC sold their Hope Holdings in 1907. I left Hope and moved to Kodiak Island, where I lived for 30 years with my wife Ella, owning a fish cannery, a cannery store, and trading furs. You know, I do miss my little Hope schoolhouse and my Hope school. Oscar Grimes. Welcome to my cabin. It may be 